In the last video, we took a look at how to create this shape by combining three shapes together. I did want to take a minute just to show a few other tools that we can use before we move on to our next um, challenge, which is going to be to take this shape and turn it into like a name badge that has your name on it. So you'll notice up at the top that we have two different arrows. You might think that these do the same thing, but they actually do not. Whereas we use this arrow, our selection tool, to actually click on and select the shape and move it around. We use this one, which is called the direct selection tool, to actually directly edit and change the shape that we've done. Now, in order to use this tool, I actually don't want it to be selected. So if yours is selected, just kind of click off of it. Click over here on the side somewhere. And then once you have it so that it's not selected, you can come over and find a point. So maybe I want to come over to this point here. I just hover over top of it, and it will put, <coughs> put this dot here. I'm then able to take that and drag it. And I can drag it around, and I can directly edit the shape and the different points of the shape. So I can kind of change that around and drag those points in. Gives me a little bit more control if I want to take this and maybe drag these up a little bit so that I create a little bit more of a uh, dramatic flare to this. Give it a little bit more of a sunburst effect. I'm able to go through and drag those around and really have a little bit more fine control of how my shape is going to look. So that's the direct selection tool. The direct selection tool allows us to directly edit the points on our shape. A couple other things that I just wanted to point out as well. We have the line segment tool. And if I click and hold down on there, you'll see that there's a few other tools in here as well. But let's take a look at the line segment tool. Just like it sounds, the line segment allows you to create lines. And I can just drag this out. If I hit shift, it will create a perfectly straight line. So you see as I'm push, holding this out, if I hit shift, it creates it in a perfectly straight line in, a, uh, in that direction. And oops, let go of shift too soon. But that's what the line segment tool does. It just allows us to create lines, which could be helpful again as you are creating shapes and creating your logo in order to be able to create that. Underneath here, we've got the arc tool, which the arc tool uh, creates arc shapes and it allows you to kind of uh, create uh, lines that are arced that have some curve to it. And we also have the spiral tool which allows you to create these spiral effects. Now a cool thing with the spiral tool, again, I'm holding down on my mouse, and as I'm holding down on the mouse, I can hit the up arrow, and you'll see that the up arrow, it increases the amount of spiral that's in the middle. If I hit the down arrow, it takes away the amount of spiral in the middle there. And so I can kind of create some of these spiral shapes as well. And then finally, I know I pointed out the star shape or uh, the star tool, but I don't think I uh, showed you how to use it. So just looking at the star tool, if you click and hold down on the star tool, again, clicking down on my mouse as I um, pull this out to create the size of it, again, I can hit the up and down arrows to add more arms to the star and create these like sunburst effects. If I hit down, it takes away the number of sides or the arms. And on my keyboard, if I hit Option, it creates kind of this perfect star. And I'm able to scale it up or down in this perfect shape. Hitting Command allows me to just pull the arms out. The center shape kind of stays the same size. But the arms, I'm able to pull in and out and create different sizes with that. So that's the command key that does that. And the option key creates this kind of perfect star shape. Okay? So that's how the star tool works. All right. Now, our challenge for today is I want you to create a name badge that's going to have your name on it. 
you can utilize some of these other tools if you want, putting the star tool on there, using the spiral tool or the line segment tool to, to create a little bit more flair for your name badge. Um, but at the end of the day, what we want to have is we also want to make sure it says your name. So over here on the side, we want to make sure to click on the T. This is our text tool. And just like you would assume, the text tool allows you to go ahead and type in and add text to your shape. From here, I can go ahead and select my text. And over on the side, I have my options as far as how what I want to do with it. So I can make it bigger so that it fills the space. I can change my font if I wanted to and kind of scroll through and see some of the different fonts that are available. I'm going to go ahead and just leave it on Myriad Pro for now. And I also have the option to align it. So if I come up to Window and hit Align, what I can do is I can align this to the artboard or I could align it to just the shape itself. So here's something that we want to try. Go ahead and click on the selection tool. I'm going to click on my shape first and I'm going to say align to and I'm going to make sure it says align to artboard. From there I can go ahead and hit this horizontal align and then I can hit the vertical align and that will center my shape. Once I've done that, I can click on my name, again making sure it says align to artboard. I can hit the horizontal align and then the vertical align and then my name will be centered directly in that shape then as well. Once I have it aligned, it's looking pretty good but it looks a little plain. So I want to add some color to my shape here. So remember that once we have our shape selected, we can come over to the fill. We can click on the fill and we can just quickly fill in the color. But again, I want to add a little bit more to this. So I'm going to click on this one here, which is called the orange yellow. And this is actually going to add a gradient effect to it. Once I click on this one, you'll notice that down here at the bottom, it gives us this option that says gradient options. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and you'll see it brings up this new panel and it gives me all these different options for it as well. So I have a few different things I could do. I could click on this. Um, I have these different ones. I'm gonna stick with my orange yellow for now. Right now the type of gradient is a linear, but I also have radial gradient, which kind of makes it more circular. And I have this freeform one, which uh, allows you to change at certain points. But again, I'm gonna stick with the linear gradient for that. And I also have these different circles down here on the bottom. This is how I change the color of this. So if I double click on these, I can come through here and I can choose a color that I want it to do. So maybe I want to start it at this green color. I'm going to click on this one and I'm going to have this change to maybe this blue color. And then I'm going to go to a little bit darker blue and to a, more, a little bit darker blue. And finally, uh, that's a little too dark, something like that. Now, what you may notice as well, maybe I think, uh, you know what, I actually have too many points here. If I take this point and just click and kind of drag it off, it will go away. So it only has these four points. I can also change the position of these so that these are a little bit more centered evenly so that these the gradient is a little bit more gradual. All right. And the last thing with the gradient is you'll see that there's this line here that goes across the middle. It kind of gives us the visual as far as where it's supposed to be. With the gradient, this line, I can change the position of it and I can rotate it. So I can move the rotation of it and that will change the angle at which this gradient goes through there. So you can see now my gradients a little bit more on an angle going that direction. Okay, so you've got some options with it as well and you can kind of play with the gradient and you can add in some other shapes if you want. You could add in your line segment or spirals or those types of things as well. And what we're again, what we're trying to create is just a kind of a simple name badge, something that the shape that you've created 
adding color to it, adding text, and coming up with something that looks like that for, you, for your name.